Oh, g'day scrappers. Uh, just uh, processing my ram sticks at the moment. Uh, doing a whole lot of these without the gold fingers, the ones that I remove myself. Uh, sometimes I also buy some ram of people that uh, they remove the fingers. So I just buy the ram um, with fingers removed. So I've got a lot of them and uh, just been uh, depopulating. Um, just uh, I've got a bit of spare time. So it's just allowed me uh, a, a chance to uh, catch up on all this ram. Um, just been going through this this bucket here. So they're all uh, ram with IC chips that have been trimmed. And um, basically, I I uh, have two grades of ram. I separate them into two anyway. Um, the ram sticks with the IC chips. So the dips, DIPs, and uh, the new style RAM with the uh, BGA chips. So I do these separately. These are really, really easy to to remove. You don't even need um, you don't even need the power of the compressor. You can almost just skim along and pop them off. Sometimes you need a bit of force. But a lot of times the BGA chips just pop off. They're really um, not very really stuck on very well. But uh, for now, I like obviously I like to keep my IC chips separate to my B BGAs. So all I'm doing right now is just all the regular RAM. And yeah, once I get through all that, I've got a barrel here that I've got to get through and then trim all the gold fingers. And... Uh, catch up on all this uh, the BGA RAM these are basically just my working buckets from the workshop uh, got a full tub here and then just the uh, the depopulated RAM sticks so all the uh, fingers have been removed the IC chips and you'll notice on some they got like really tiny MLCC's and thick film resistors okay so because it's on RAM, they are, you know, the really good ones. They've got, you know, they've got precious metals, palladium and ruthenium and silver. So, um, but the rest of the board, like this one here, this is just tin. So a lot of the double-sided RAM are, are, have just got tin. Uh, the single-sided RAMs, it's tin on one side. And then we've got that bit of gold plating there. But that gold plating isn't like uh, the gold fingers. So, yeah, it's a, it's a totally different gold plating. It's a much, very light gold plating. So um, all I'm going to do with uh, um, depopulated ram sticks is probably just separate these ones with the bit of plating on it and, um, and these ones with no gold plating. I'll just uh, get rid of That's just copper and this one. Um, and then, you know, you've got these through hole things. It's mostly copper. Um, so that one here has got gold through holes. But, you know, pretty much nothing on this. It's mostly these ones that I want to keep. And uh, so, yeah. So that's basically all I do with ram sticks. Just uh, bring them down to a, a uh, smaller size so I can stockpile them a lot easier and I know what they are they're all ready to go so I see chips ready to go um, ram sticks with uh, gold plating ready to go and um, as I mentioned with the uh, depopulated ram sticks so you've got little uh, resistors here and um, very tiny MLCC's and so when using um, one of these air guns, you can just, with a blade that's got a really reasonably sharp tip on it, all you need to do, you don't even have to do that, you just skim along and just, um, you know, that's all I do, just quickly scrape off if I feel like it. I don't really go for the resenium or the, the thin, thick film resistors. 
that's them there. I mostly go for the MLCCs, but these MLCCs are so small, but that's still fine. Um, so as I go, I push up these IC chips, and as you can see underneath, that's all the crumble of, you know, what's on the RAM sticks, and it's mostly very, very small MLCCs and thick film resistors. So, you know, we know that thick film resistors have silver and ruthenium, although, you know, it's probably pretty hard to process these, and they're so small, you'd, you'd need years of them, but that's fine, you know, just keep putting them away. And then, obviously, we know the MLCCs have palladium and silver, um, and these ones will be noble metal ones being on RAM. And uh, so all I do, yeah, is just skim away all the IC chips or should I just shake them up like that and then pull them aside I get a lot of that crumble so I just get a nice little hard drive magnet oh this one's actually quite a big one and yeah so when I'm done all I really need to do is just run the magnet over and pick up most of uh the crumble, as well as some high C chips. Okay, so that's basically MLCCs and resistors. Okay, so I don't mind keeping um, really small crumble like this as I mix and processing it all together because, um, you know, both of them have silver and then um, you know, the MLCCs have palladium, so, you know, it'll probably be a matter of uh, removing the palladium out of this mix and then going for the silver. All this stuff certainly adds up, so uh, I, I recommend when you're depopulating and uh, things like ram sticks or anything like that, to do a whole lot in one bunch, that way you can, um, you know, you can accumulate, you know, as much as this crumble as possible. And... Uh, what, what's left will be, still will be resistors that just didn't get magnetized, some MLCCs that just didn't have enough nickel, but every MLCC has a little bit of nickel, whether they got palladium or they're just base metal MLCCs, they all have nickel, so they all will be magnetic in some way. Um, and especially if you're using a powerful hard drive magnet, um, yeah, you'll, you'll pretty much pick them all up. And so that's fine. And but they will be noble metal MLCCs. So that's that. And uh, I'm just going to keep going with these ram sticks. Keep processing them. And this is as far as I really go uh, when it comes to gold recovery at this stage. It's just uh, um, it's just a matter of stockpiling this um, as you know gold bearing items and uh but uh you know there's other things that i'm interested in as well i'm also interested in the silver and um occasional palladium and or platinum inside ic chips um especially in cpu kind of chips so um i'm basically stacking all this for the future and it's starting to pour down rain here so um i probably have to start screaming but um yeah, I mean, this is really good for downtime. So if you're accumulating ram sticks um, and you've got a few hours to spare, just like anything with depopulating, you don't want to do it in your prime time. Um, and uh, But just uh, with these IC chips, obviously there's a long way to go before we get the gold. But I'm just happy to keep them like that. That's, that's my idea of gold recovery, is just recovering it from the uh, components. And um, in future... Uh, you know, when I find a really easy way to recover the gold and all the metals, that's when I'll go for it. So at the stage, it's just stockpiling. So I've got quite a lot to uh, get through here today. Um, now that it's raining, it's just making a little bit harder, but that's okay. I've got my little depopulating station outside. Better put the cover on my, on my nice ram before it fills up with water. So this is my little setup outside. I, I do prefer to do it outside because uh, of all the dust that it brings up when you're depopulating. 
So I just find this area here is good enough. Just got a piece of carpet on the base, got a uh, couple of bricks on the side and, and just a brick wall as the backing. And uh, I don't really lose anything on the ground. And so I just sit there on my little stool and um, depopulate away. And another thing I do on, you know, when I'm just want to rest in between um, depopulating is uh, a lot of the ram chips, they'll, they'll have these stickers on them. So it doesn't really matter, but, you know, I like to just, um, you know, just spend a little bit of time and just removing these stickers from them. Um, it just, I mean, they're going to be pyrolyzed anyway, so the plastic will, will burn off, but just a, a little bit less material that it needs, we need to process, I suppose. So yeah, so just um, when I want to have a rest from using the air hammer and rest the um, compressor, I'll just sit here and spend a little bit of time, just uh, have a coffee and just peel away some of these stickers. And uh, I find this part quite therapeutic. It's just, uh, you know, it, it, it's not really productive. It's not something you want to do in, in um, you know, if you've got a lot of stuff to do, but just just so I can rest my hands from doing the air compressor. Um, yeah, I just do that. And some of these stickers can also be uh, metallic stickers. And so that's even more so that you want to get rid of them. But uh, yeah, so I try and, uh, you know, most of these stickers, the ones that are linked up, they'll all, all get removed. All right, guys, well, I'll keep going now and uh, going to be uh, accumulating a lot of this today. And so all I'll do with these IC chips now is I'm going to put them all into a bucket and uh, seal the bucket away and add it to my stack and just keep stacking. I think the next video is going to be uh, talking about stockpiling e-waste. Um, so uh, look out for that one. Catch you next time.